Hey you all, so in today's video, this is like a very special video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a charcuterie table. Some of you may know the charcuterie table as a cheese board. It's basically the perfect way to entertain, like if you're doing date night, if you just want some friends to come over. I'm gonna show you in today's video how to be the host that does the most. If you like these type of videos, definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up the video, hit your notification bell so that you're notified every time I release a new video, and let's get started. All right, you all, so let's talk about what we have here and what we're gonna start with and what we need, okay? So I have started out with a nice backdrop. I used some nice glittery fabric. And then I also have, you know, glasses with my signature touch with the honeybee. I have jams, we have figs, strawberry and apricots. And we also have cutting boards. This is the most important part of getting ready for your charcuterie cheese board, okay? You need cutting boards. It could be any type of cutting board that you want to use, but it just makes the presentation really look good. I also added, you know, some nice white and gold features on the table because I wanted to add a lot of warmth to my charcuterie table. I also have added, um, you know, things like candles and other things on the table. And I hope you all, like, when you're getting started, you really get creative and you really get inspired. We also have a lot of interesting things. I have honey up there just in case people want to put honey on their brie, but we'll get into that. So this is the first step is setting everything up. And just a side note here, the reason why I like the charcuterie table or the charcuterie board is because it's elegant, but it still allows your guests to feel comfortable to where they, you know, want to serve themselves. It just really makes, um, I feel like, a comfy environment when you are entertaining. So you still have like the, in, you know, the, the luxe entertaining look, but people still feel comfortable to pick and get what they want off of your table. Okay, so let's look at a few things that we wanna place on our charcuterie board. Um, I went out and I got some artisan French bread. You can use whatever type of bread that you, you know, that you like. And also I got different meats from um, Aldi's. I got some meats, you know, even from, you know, Trader Joe's. There's different places that you can get your meats from. So whatever type of meat you like, I'm using salami. Also, I got the cracker assortments from Trader Joe's because you want to put some crackers on there, crackers and cheese, you know, it goes together. I have different fruits like strawberries. I have cotton candy grapes. If y'all know about the cotton candy grapes, put it, you know, put a comment down in the comment section below. I also got things like pineapples, almonds, because a lot of people like different, you know, tastes. Some people like spicy, some people like sweet, some people like an in-between. So I wanted something for my guests so that they feel, you know, comfortable, they feel full, you know, while they're waiting even on dinner or just a little light snack where they feel comfortable. It's like elegant but informal to where they can serve themselves. So you want people to feel comfortable to eat, you know? We also have mix in the back, like trail mix in the back. And we also have different things, you know, different cheeses, assortments and things like that. But we'll get into the cheese in a minute. I also had things like olives and I got, you know, refreshments and things to put on the table for our mojito. But I'll get into that, into that excuse me, in a minute. Like when you're, picking out, when you're picking out your cheeses, you get what you like. But this is just examples of what you could put on your own charcuterie board. If y'all are entertaining like this and you put together a charcuterie board like this, your guests are going to be full and I can, you know, assure you that they are not going to want to leave. So let's talk about this step now. In this step, we're going to be arranging fruit 
and you know on our board right now i have apricots olives i have strawberries cherries cotton candy grapes and then we have our red grapes and then we have our pineapples so we have you know a good assortment of fruit you know something for everybody some people uh like olives those olives are you know spicy they've been marinated um i like pineapples for a little tropical feel and strawberries the strawberries are also going to come in handy for our mojito all right our next step is to add our cheese so let me let me talk a little bit about the cheeses that i have on the board right now I have a blueberry goat cheese that is by the strawberries on the first part of the board. I have a Colby Jack kind of pepper cheese there. I have a blueberry cheese above that next to the red grapes. And I also have a French brie with pomegranate jam on top, okay? Um, a lot of people have a lot of questions about the brie. The brie, you can actually eat the rind, but some people are not into the taste of that. So you can kind of scrape it off if you're not into that taste of that, okay? But these are the cheeses that we have on our board so far. So at this point, you're going to be adding your cheeses and you would get cheese, you know, that you like, okay? Some people have acquired taste. They like different types of cheeses. Like I know friends that like Asiago or whatever type of cheese, that's what you would put on your board. Okay, so next we are going to fill in some of the empty spaces with our crackers. This is where the Trader Joe uh, assortment of crackers came in handy. I just put, you know, placed where I wanted the crackers to go, like surrounding the fruit and the cheese. Um, I wanted to put it near some of the cheeses just so people can get a feel like, okay, I could put this on top of this cracker, you know, just to create, you know, a place where they can be like mm, I wonder how this tastes is together so try to you know fill in the spaces and you know maybe place crackers you know if you know what food is kind of you know lit together put it you know where that is I kind of like to kind of taste test stuff beforehand before I'm entertaining so I know okay this flavor goes good with this so it just depends on you know who you have coming over um, what your guests likes, but I like to, like I said, taste the food beforehand, and I, that's how I, um, you know, place whatever I, you know, feel people would, you know, be into on my charcuterie board. So that's that's a tip. Um, I like these crackers, so definitely make sure y'all check out the cracker assortments. But you could put whatever type of crackers you like on your own charcuterie board. Okay, so next I've added the meats and the cheese, and I also added some bread. So as you can see, we have rolls, and we have um, the artisan bread, and we've also added chocolates and some a little bit of trail mix, but I added those rolls just in case people wanna put a little jam, you know, or make a little sandwich. But the important thing here is I also added the pre-cut cheese. Like there's, there's I mean, Swiss, there's cheddar. Um, there's flavors that are kind of safe for people that may not be into different types of cheeses, okay? Some people, they don't also like to cut cheese, okay? So they can, it's easy for them. They could just pick up cheese and put it on a cracker. They could put it on a sandwich. Like um, I have salami there. So if they wanted to make a sandwich with crackers or a sandwich with, you know, some bread, I've made sure that I had the cheese that's already pre-cut and you can get those cheeses um, that are already pre-cut at, you know, your grocery store, okay? Um, but it's important because you want to make this entertainment spread just easy. Like people could just see this is what I eat with this and this, ooh, this will be good with this. You want them to be able to see it, grab it, and, you know, it just be so simple for them because that's a huge part of entertaining, you know, being a host that does the most. 
Okay, so we've added our serving utensils. As you can see, each jam has its own spoon because we ain't doing no mixings of the jam. Honey, I want the flavor that I want. And also, we have a mojito. Now, this one is non, um, I'm going to call it a uh, alk, okay? And basically, I took two bottles of Sprite and then I also added some uh strawberries that were marinated overnight to give it like a perfect taste okay because we don't want nobody um you know leaving a little like they going up on a tuesday okay now also as you can see i also added a serving utensil to the olives and you know something for the cheese there just you know so that your guests could easily you know have things accessible that's the most important part of hosting and entertaining is that you want everything to be laid out and just to make sense you don't want people being like oh where's this where are the cups where does where's the you want everything to be where it needs to be and this this is the perfect entertainment spread you all if you having a baby shower if you are having date night if you are just having company over um this is the perfect spread for you all to um enjoy yourselves you know i have guests right now honey they are looking and waiting honey to have this good food that we are about to receive and you know i wanted to give you all some inspiration on how to put together something for your family and friends and stuff like that because people want things to be easy when they're doing like a party spread you know you don't have to get all fancy this is you know formal yet informal um where it's things just to the point i just put the backdrop with the little glitter fabric we have our cutting board we've added our fruit our cheeses our meats our crackers our bread and you also could add, you know, different stuff that maybe your family or friends likes to eat. You know, some people take requests. Um, I just put things out that I knew uh, my family and friends were going to want to eat. Um, and I know that I'll eat, you know, on an everyday type of thing. But this is looking really good. I also love my glasses. You know, it has my, you know, signature honeybee type of stuff on it because I am the one that's hosting so I had to put my signature on it honey I had to let y'all know the honey for the tea now these jams are good I believe I got these jams um from a lot of different places like um I believe that you know the grocery store I think a home goods also so check out your local grocery stores and things like that you have to get the flavors that you know your guests may like or that you even like but you know I had something for everybody on this charcuterie board and that's the most important part I wanted my guests to enjoy themselves and honey they are looking like they are ready to enjoy themselves so I hope you all enjoyed this video if you like videos like these definitely make sure you like comment and subscribe i'm going to show y'all like the full presentation of it because i want y'all to get a full view of this beautiful spread so just hang on one moment before we close on out and i'm gonna show it to y'all so tell me what do you use on your charcuterie board or what did you enjoy about the charcuterie board or charcuterie table that i presented to you today leave your thoughts in the comment section below and I will see you all soon on the next video. Okay, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you're going to go and make your own charcuterie board and what would you use? Leave a comment in the comment section below and see you soon on the next video.